Welcome back, Your Majesty, and welcome to Friday. How'd you like that? I'm feeling good again. My heart is coming online, and so is my health. And this weekend, it's the same for you. Your moon in Taurus over the course of the day will keep your heart today really with career matters. I know in the United States, most people have today off, but your heart is very legacy based. If you're gonna do any emotional worry, it's probably about something in the office or some sort of politic, maybe even the course of your career. But that shouldn't be too intense. That's just where the heart's kind of grounding itself right now. On Saturday and Sunday, things do change though. The moon will be in Gemini pulling your emotions into the spectrum of the public, your royal court, if you will. So your heart is with your court, and it's not just with your court, but it's a full moon in Gemini, so your heart is really with your people. This is a full dose. A full moon is 100% energy, bouncing back through the vibration. So you're going to really feel emotionally filled by your friends and super social. It's a time where Leos really love to just lay it on thick with their people. The only caveat to this is that a full moon means that it's opposite the sun. That opposition is really a tug of war, a tug of war with the earth in the center, and a tug of war between two parts of our lives or two sections of our consciousness. So on the one hand, you've got the moon pulling you into your friends, and your networking, and your reputation, and your politics, but opposite with the sun in Sagittarius, the soul is really focusing on your inner child, your house of star power. In fact, if you watched yesterday's Astro Extra, you would have learned about Pluto moving into Capricorn, which indicates the final graduation of Leo's finding their inner celebrity, their inner star. They're finally making the final journey in. And I think it will all go at a very accelerated pace. A lot of Leos I talk to still not too certain about what they want to do with their inner child. They're still making decisions on what they dream about. I think in the next 30, you'll be making some very important decisions. And the next 10 days, you'll be uncovering still issues with your inner child that maybe don't work so much. So if you get caught in a tug of war, probably the inner child needs to grow up, says the astrologer this weekend. All right, that's all we have for the weekend forecast. Be back on Monday. Live, love, be. So God.